Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. Here the purpose is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. And today's video channel will do that. We are going to have a conversation from the afterlife with Walt Disney. Now there is another video. I did a, uh, an initial first video with uh, interviewing Walt Disney and that was a great conversation. And if you watch that first video, you'll know that I am a Disney fan. And it's kind of like born and raised, I guess you might say. I grew up going to Disneyland in Anaheim, California. And then I discovered Disney World and all the cool kingdoms that are aspects of Disney World as an adult. And so, of course, I have my Disney fan gear on as well. So, looking forward to channeling Mr. Walt Disney. And today's purpose for this particular channel is to get some motivation, to get some inspiration, some of that Disney magic straight from Walt in the afterlife. All right, so I have a few questions um, to be able to ask him to kind of get the ball rolling. So first I'm gonna invite him in, Mr. Walt Disney, would you come on in and have a seat? And so it's actually he's standing, so he's standing up, so I'm looking up at him here. And then he steps back, he's like, oh, excuse me. He steps back a little bit. Um, I can smell uh, smoke from like a cigarette. And it brings some familiarity to him, characteristic of him. I'm just gonna give myself a moment to just kind of feel in here. Just kind of feel into Mr. Walt Disney's energy. Oh, I feel his heart definitely in Anaheim. Very connected to Disneyland. A lot of feeling about Disneyland. Heartfelt is what it's feeling. And then he says, um, you invited me to speak. And yes, I did. Um, Walt, if I may call you that. He said, of course, we're friends, of course. We need some inspiration. We need some good old fashioned motivation. Give us a pep talk, Walt. Give us a pep talk. There's a lot going on in the world and in the country of America at this time. And I'd really love to hear some positive words from you of encouragement. And, well, you know, just with your wisdom that you have and your magic too. So I uh, hope I didn't set the bar too high there. I'm sure you can uh, achieve that for sure for us. He says, my pleasure, my pleasure. You know, I'm not much one for politics, he says. I'd much rather spend time with the people I love, doing what I love, and making things. There's a lot of joy in those simple pleasures, and it would be a good idea to remember that. Now, in my time, the world was not such a big place, he says. It seemed so mysterious, far off lands and places overseas, beyond what you could see on your television, but actually the idea, this concept of actually visiting those places wasn't, wasn't in the cards for many folks. And in a way, I suppose my creation of Disneyland was a way to afford people that opportunity to have experiences and adventure. But to recognize that those experiences and those adventures can happen in your own backyard and with your own family. And I suppose over time, over the years, there's been quite a bit of criticism of how the world changes and what businesses choose to do, what leaders choose to do, how people behave or mistreat one another. And it seems to me that There's a lot of criticism. It seems to me that you've learned to be critics, evaluators, and not inventors. 
naysayers focused on what could go wrong and missing out on every chance for possibility. There's a little space in between failure and success. And therein lies a hidden bridge that will show up for those who stay and continue to revisit that place. Now success, as I refer, is more aimed at your happiness, your personal happiness. And I'm not speaking of selfish motivations or self-serving limitations that exist in humanity in the frame of mind or reference points that you have, whether it's geographically or in your own neighborhoods or environments. There is so much more, more available to you that if only you knew the wonder that lies just outside your reach. Because it doesn't happen in your physical form. It's so much more of a community, a group effort an experience wherein one person's happiness does not distract or deter another from having happiness. True happiness is really in those moments that you would call or, or, sh or say where magic is created, to create magic. Now that may seem whimsical with what I've created with what you know of Disney, if you've ever visited or not. And I know the contrast of commercialization and the criticism of business over time very well taints that view, that understanding. But know this. The magic is not lost because it lives inside of you. And my hope is that you will take the magic that is inside of you and share it with those around you so that your families can benefit, your communities, your neighborhoods, your schools can benefit because of you and what you bring to the world. I really want to share something about invention, about being inventive, being creative. I know this is referred to as cutting edge or being out on the leading edge. And really it begins with a simple curiosity and an interest, a question, a nagging question, that a resounding question that comes up over and over again. And, and you just gotta follow those lights, those ideas, and eventually, something will click into place and it may not be by doing it on your own that is i think that is one of the failures and i do use that term on purpose with intent miss bridget i use that term on purpose that it is through you and your willingness to explore, to reach out to others and share your crazy ideas, your harebrained schemes of ideas. And then together, that's when the ideas become magic. It's not by yourself there's magic. It's togetherness, the togetherness. That is what I think that you're missing. You're feeling distance 
from the the outreaching of the magic magic to magic there's a distrust in that process now that over time it has become more and more difficult to share that magic and my hope for the world is to bring the magic back and it starts with igniting it in you and then being willing to share those crazy ideas and to try different things and whether it's different foods or a different drive home to try different things to create opportunity for adventure to follow your curiosity and to allow yourself to be curious because that will change the world can you imagine what you could possibly do by just being you could you even allow yourself a moment a moment in time to imagine it's a wondrous thing life don't waste it don't waste a moment resting on your laurels get out there and experience all the incredible things that is that is available they are available to you right now in the world in your own world you don't have to travel to far off lands to have these experiences your technology alone is wondrous beyond what we could have ever envisioned or imagined that is a miraculous any steps back a little bit he says thank you for this opportunity you're welcome <laughs> i feel like we should sing the mickey mouse song <laughs> or when you wish upon a star fireworks <laughs> right <laughs> wow okay you guys disney fans anybody a disney fan out there disneyland disney world i'd like to hear which one do you have a preference and if you're talking disney world which of the lands or in disneyland which of the lands do you like which of the parts of the parks do you like the best i'd like to know that it helps me get to know you a little bit you know you can say a lot tell a lot from somebody based upon which disney park that they like the best all right <laughs> that was interesting because i felt i would feel like chunks of words and he'd share and then it felt like it would stop for a minute I felt like he was like gonna smoke <laughs> to be honest that's what I I mean I don't want to encourage that from anyone but I felt like he was like <sighs> and then he'd begin again that's how it felt to me so I mean I'm sure did you maybe you guys noticed that did you notice that as well do you have specific questions for Walt? If you do, go ahead and feel free to put those in the comments. But this particular channeling video was intended to create inspiration and motivation for us with wherever you're at, with whatever you're dealing with in the world. And I hope that Walt's message was able to touch your heart and ignite some of that magic within you as well. Remember to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on that little bell that you'll see that says subscribe. You actually have to click it to make sure that you never miss a weekly channel here at Above Life Channel. Thanks for being here.